Hello, welcome to this video um, where we are going to cover the installation process of Veeam Backup and Replication uh, Console for version 13. Um, version 13 is now a new appliance build um, with the option of a Windows installation as well. Um, the idea is that there is a, a single deployed appliance um, that can be deployed to your uh, virtualization um, infrastructure and run directly without the need of a Windows license. Um, however, there is a requirement for a Veeam Backup and Replication console uh, to be uh, installed on a Windows server or a Windows desktop um, to be able to connect in and um, access um, some of the extra functionality. There is also a, um, a web-based console that is also available um, where you can log in and um, get at least a minimal view of your infrastructure and be able to um, manage your backups uh, within that console. Um, however, this one, we are going to go through the process um, of installing the application. Now, if we just go ahead first off and double click on the um, console install, then we'll be able to uh, see a little pop-up that will extract the installation files um, and then we'll take off from there okay we can see here now that the um, user license agreement has um, popped up and then we can go through we just review these policies as required um, and then we can go and accept At this point in time, we'll have the uh, missing features. Um, these can be any of the redistributed files that are required, um, any software uh, dependencies that are also required. Um, these will be installed. Um, and then this will allow the software to operate once the uh, full package is installed. Once the features are enabled, we can then start looking at um, either the customizer settings, uh, which is basically just changing the location of um, your install, uh, but pretty much just go with the defaults, um, just like any other installation. Uh, we'll just confirm again uh, where that location is and click install. From here, we just need to wait. Um, it'll go through all three steps um, of each component that needs to be installed for Veeam Backup and Replication Console. Um, and then we uh, should be right to start logging into the um, new appliance. Second step um, of components that will be installed are the Veeam Explorers. Uh, so these will help when doing a restore um, that you'll be able to look through each of the jobs and be able to do your guest rest um, file restores on within those. Once that is finished, we can click the finish button um, and start the console. Uh, so if we head over to the desktop, we can see the icon for Veeam Backup and Replication Console. Uh, we can just go ahead and, and open that. Uh, what we should see from here then is the um, connection screen where we can use the console to connect to any one of the appliances that we may have uh, deployed. So if you've got multiple uh, appliances that are in your infrastructure, you can connect to each one of them individually. Um, so in this case, um, I actually am going to connect to mine. Um, I'm just going to do it via IP um, because I haven't set it up uh, for anything else at the moment. And then we can go connect. Um, so then you'll see that it gives you your thumbprint and you can just say if you trust this one. Um, so this is purely the beta at the moment. Um, so we're going to see TBD showing everywhere at the moment, but that's that's absolutely fine. Um, so at this point, uh, we can go in and uh, log in um, using the credentials that are provided. 
Um, and these are part of the system uh, when you set up and deploy your clients. We'll just go and log in. sign in and we can see it logging in here um so at this stage we can see that the license expired but um, we can just always add a new license to here so let's click ok um and so what we'll see here now is the new console um as we can see it looks a lot more um modern um to what the previous version 12 uh, version 11 or even version 10 consoles looked like um, so there is a, a much more fresher look um, with this um, but you can see that there are majority of the features um, and capabilities of the console uh, here at the moment um, you can see that uh, all of the um, categories uh, where you can look at your different functions um and different areas of the backup console so your inventory so we're able to look at your hosts from here um your v centers that are connected you can see what unstructured data that you have um, backup jobs that are configured there um, object storage and that you can go into backup infrastructure here you'll be able to see um, your proxies your repositories um you'll be able to see uh, your sure backup infrastructure as well that you've got uh, laid out um, and then we can go into the, the storage infrastructure so if you um, want to add things like uh, dedupe arrays um, such as like a data domain um, and, and various other types of storage and that you can do through here um, and tape infrastructure cloud connect cloud connect if you are a service provider um, so you'll be able to have this function if you're, you've got an installed license, um, and the features are still there. So you can still manage your certificates, um, your backup storage, your tenants, um, and, and whatnot through here, uh, same as your files and your history, um, of all your jobs, your malware detection is available as well through this, uh, process. Um, but if we go back up to home, um, we can now take a look at uh, your backup jobs um, and this will be the last piece i'll show you for this video for now um, but let's take a look at setting up a backup job um, and how much everything is pretty much the same um, so if i just go ahead we'll we'll just leave this called backup one um, but we still had description high priority um, same as you would see in previous versions again it's got that fresh look again so you can um, just go ahead, create what you want to add. I'll just go in and uh, pick a a small VM. Uh, we'll just go to this VM here. Um, let's go next. Same features here as well. Backup proxy, backup repository. Um, so we can just go ahead and select your retention periods, uh, advanced job settings, Again, it all looks very, very much the same. Um, a lot of these uh, default settings um, are generally what you'll need for configuring your backup jobs. Um, there's a couple of extra things here where you can remove data after a certain number of time with a full backup file maintenance. Um, uh, but everything else looks very, very similar to what you've seen previously. Um, and if you're new to this, um, just have a look at how easy it is to set up and manage your backup jobs. Um, even with version 12, this is how it is. Um, so it makes it really nice and easy to use. Uh, we still have application aware. We still have guest processing, um, setting up your guest OS credentials. The functionality is still there. Um, so it's going to make life really easy uh, to continue on. Again, schedule, so if you schedules, automatic retries. Um, and this actually looks like a new option. Um, I don't remember it being in 12, but um, it's terminated job once it's outside its backup window. Now I've seen that for replication. Um, I don't remember seeing it for backup jobs. Um, so that's a, that's a nice little new feature as well. Um, so let's go apply. We can see the summary of what we've just configured. We want to run it straight away. 
click finish and we can see that the backup job is uh, going to start. Um, so we'll just watch the job start. Uh, we get the same visual uh, if we double click on the job um, to see what the progress is like. Uh, it's just a little bit slow to start, but uh, it looks pretty much the same. Um, so we can see here that the job has um, has failed, but that's okay. Uh, what we can do is um, go ahead and um, work out why that has failed. It's uh, just telling me that the name or service is not known. Um, I'm just using defaults. So I haven't set up anything with the proxies, so it may not be able to talk to my um, vCenter properly or, or the hosts within my network. Um, this is something I can I can definitely fix. So, but otherwise, this is the new um, the new portal, the new console um, that will be coming out with version thirteen. Um, it's still a little while away, but uh, for the moment, this is um, the product at this stage. So, looks really good, nice and easy to install, and it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to what comes out. All right, thank you very much.